about me. Um, I am Anjali Rora, uh, the author of Selling Book, The Florescent. And if I talk about my studies, I'm pursuing my research in the field of literature, and that is English literature, considering the human values in the works of Khaled Husseini is one of my title you can say I have discussed right now. So today, as we are seeing, as the research topic, I say human value. Similarly, somewhere that mental health is becoming a burning topic these days. So before I start, I just want to, sh before sharing the PPT or something I'm going to say, I just want to keep a little bit a light, put on the light of the topic that is mental health. It is easy to say mental health but we never take care of it as we take a physical care of the physical health. If I talk about if I'm feeling a pain in my leg or I am having a fever, I will rush to a doctor at the same moment. But if I am having anxiety, if I am having something, I'm not ever rushing to the doctor. We just say the one thing, the time is hard, it will be fine one day. Tomorrow is another day. These kind of motivating things we keep saying, but we never say it is a problem. It's not a taboo. It's nothing. It's just we are suffering. Because as we have seen, we are in a modern age. The things are changing. It's not like we are spiritually growing somewhere. We are lacking behind in the spirituality. We are lacking behind. We are leaving behind our integrity that the Indian traditions have told us. We are running behind. The Western tradition and we are opting them and somewhere we have forgot the things which have been taught to us by our ancestors somewhere it is diminished and that's why I feel this is the thing we are facing today the anxiety stress if I talk about the era where our ancestors live or my grandparents live it was a time they focus more on their inner growth least on their outer growth their materialistic positions were leased. Their main motive was to grow spiritually or internally. Now what we want, we want to grow as a materialistic. We want to earn more. And I feel this is the reason we are facing a lot of problems these days. So before I start, I want to share the screen with the things. Right Hello. Yeah, ma'am, should I share this? Yes, 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 yes. Please, it's okay. Huh. Okay. So the topic is mental health and creativity. So before I start, I have I was doing the surveys. So it was not the survey of 2019 or 20 or 21. The survey that is available currently on the internet is of 2017 17 in which the study shows that there are 3.8 percent of the total population who suffers from anxiety if we are saying total population it's in billions and millions and so how many people are suffering from anxiety and 3.4 percent of world's population is suffering from depression and overall 10.7 percent people held mental health disorder in 2017 it is the survey shows that and if we see it was the time 2020 and 2021 we are locked down we were in our homes we are with our families but many of the people have left their job they were they have nothing to do they the students are at home and studying from there that becomes a major issue and there is a rise up in this percentage. I guess it is surely there will be an increase. Similarly, then I tried to find out the data that is how COVID-19 has affected the mental health issues. The most of the screening till now, till 2020, the most screening Regarding men mental health, most people visited psychologists, psychiatrists in November 2020. That was the peak time till 2020 when people consulted a psychiatrist or a psychologist. And it is found 
that most of the people are suffering from anxiety so uh, achal uh, yes, do you mind turning on the camera please okay it's off ha <laughs> Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. And Archer, can you just uh, start a slide show so that you know your presentation is full screen? Okay. Sorry for the interruption. No issue. No issue. Achal, just present from the uh, from beginning, the okay. one on the left. Yeah. No, no, on the left, the top left. It says from beginning. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Perfect. But your camera is so, turned off again. So can you just turn that on? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Should I start from starting? No, no. You can continue. Just move along. Yeah. Okay. So the basic step, if it is said, it is need to. We need to do the self introspection. Like if I ask you right now. are you mentally okay and i know many of you will say no and many of us will try to hide yes we are mentally okay but if i am sitting here i know i'm not mentally okay i am taking a lot of stress of the things i have to do after this i'm not maybe i'm not present i am present here physically but maybe i'm i'm not mentally present here so this is the thing what we do today i was reading a book and i got to know that the best thing we have been gifted as present if we are living in present will we will never be anxious so this is the thing if we are in present moment and enjoying the thing or being grateful whatever the life is granting us this is the thing that can heal us so second thing if i ask do you get anxiety attacks or panic attacks he has somewhere i think many of us experience this stage it could be we sometimes ignore the situation but when i started realizing the things that would happens like i have an exam at 9:30 and i am not ready till 9:15 or in these time in in covid i have to give my exam online sometimes what happen my laptop was not ready or i have not id card with me i got panic and then it starts with the panic attacks a little little things start hurting me so have you ever consulted a psychologist have we ever thought like if i i know sometimes we think consulting a psychologist is a taboo or going to a psychiatrist is a taboo because we feel like people are not going to accept us because in our society it is declared as mentally disabled like we treat the that person is like totally he is not in the senses but we don't know the pe- person who is not mentally okay is similar to the person who is not physically okay so these things we need to ask ourselves once a day because we are like we are the human beings and we are living in that era where negativity as it is said 
if we read the ramayana or any holy scripture it's a kali yug and when it was a satya yug it was all positivity around and the the, the era we are living that is called kali yug it will bring a lot of negativity like if we are seeing the crime around us is increasing the things the covid is here so these are the things that are coming up with the negative emotions and the negative things so as the era is changing we are also changing so the our requirements are also changing so the next question mental health taboo so some questions comes why still it is a taboo yesterday it was a conversation happened with someone and he was telling me that people still consider it a taboo in the villages and i then said it's not only in the villages the same thing somewhere is in the cities and then we come to the conclusion that in the villages people are not aware about what is mental health and what is not being mentally healthy but in cities we found people are aware of what is mental health but they are ignoring that so this is the thing i believe it's still a taboo so one of my friend named ronit ranjan maybe you have heard about him he started a foot march in uh, i guess january or february this year only he traveled from kanyakumari to kashmir to just put that mental health as a mandatory subject in schools so he foot marched he prayed for that that he signed the petitions he went to various schools colleges just so that the thing that is considered as a taboo will diminish one day and many data shows that people are still hiding about their state why this is a taboo i was randomly uh, scrolling the instagram one day and i found it is only on the ronit's wall if you go someone is asking what should i do and then he suggested you need a therapy or you need a counseling so the other another point he asked how could i tell my parents they will not accept it something like this conversation was happening there so it still happen like maybe the generation of mine is accepting this thing is being mentally not okay not mentally okay is fine but when it comes to the generation of my father and mother they are still think this cannot be happen to our children so this is the thing the people are hiding their state just because of that and as i said some people are not aware about it they think in hindi ek word uh, there is a word is said, said that pagal ho gaya and it is considered like that mental if you are mentally not strong mentally not fine it is just equal to pagal ho gaya so as i believe as we go for a body check up i feel like every month in most of the homes the doctor comes or the person go to the doctor for the full body check up to have their to check up their body bp heart level sugar level so i believe one must also consult a psychologist like this so i wasn't been in contact with one of the psychologist for some reasons so just she has done the psychology she has read that so i was asking her like how do you feel so being when you are an author you get interacted with various people so there was an interaction happening so she tell like it's not like if i have read the psychology or i am a psychologist it's not that i am helping others it's somewhere let me aware about my life aware about myself so psychologist is not the only person who is reading the psychology or something psychology is the subject which is making us aware of ourselves so i uh, the one day i consulted for a diploma course for the uh, in psychology there i got to know there i asked about them about the therapy system they are telling and the conversation was going on and they said it's like if 
it's okay anybody can do it it's not mm-hmm. like if you are going to have this therapy or this kind of thing it's for the people who are going to become a psychologist or who are going to give this therapy to someone else this therapy can help us also so when it comes to to being going to the psychologist or psychiatrist is same as going to a normal doctor for our body checkup so next as i have discussed about the psychology so the world itself says psychology something related to our mind something related to ourselves our being aware of ourselves so i usually think do we all need to study psychology because i believe it's been till 11th or 12th there is no subject like psychology i have read till 10th i was not aware there is a subject called psychology exists so something as i was discussing the importance of psychology that it is making me aware of myself so what do you think it is so psychology should be considered as a mandatory subject as we consider science maths english and if i say yes because somewhere if i am not aware about myself i am not aware about my mind how could i study the another subjects how could i if my mind it is said the mind is your greatest master is your trouble master and a very good servant if i have a trouble master in my body how could i guide him to treat me like how can i make him a servant so the psychology is the thing that is going to tell me how i should control my mind how should i make him my servant not my master so i think psychology should be a mandatory subject so it's a suppression theory it is a theory related something to psychology sigmund freud in his book the interpretation of dreams said dreams are act as a therapy why he said that people suppress their emotions because of the, the suppression theory says that whenever we are why we suppress our emotions like i am at my job and i don't like what my boss said to me but i cannot say anything to him i am angry with him i am irritated with him but i cannot say a word to him because it will cost me my job so i somewhere suppress my anger my that irritating behavior somewhere i suppress there i'm not letting it out if i'm not letting it out somewhere it is going and stabling in my mind there is nothing if i'm emotions are somewhere related to our mind if they are not going out they are getting stable in the mind and that is going to disturb my mind so this is the suppression theory say if we are not letting our emotions out they are somewhere going to hurt us so the segment ferret in the his book the interpretation of dreams said dreams are also somewhere the thing that we, the emotions we are suppressed or the things we have okay. thought in the whole day so whenever in night those only those dreams come in our sleep which we thought for the whole day like whatever the emotions we are uh, having for the whole day they are coming out in our dreams so that's why he said dreams also acts as a therapy so before going to the creativity i will like another methods like if we think if right now i am just giving you a minute to think how you spend your day like how you start your day today i was reading the book the monk who sold his ferrari and uh, heard the kind of heard the talk of b k shivani she was saying the starting 10 minutes of your day define your whole day the same the thing i am reading in the monk who sold his ferrari those 10 minutes if you are what kind of thoughts you are going to give your mind when you wake up is defining your whole day so if i give you a one minute and if you think when you wake up what you did what how you spent your first 10 minutes was your, you were on your mobile were you using your mobile were you meditating 
were you having like the thing happened yesterday and you were thinking about that and think about the impact it is having you right now just for a minute you can think and then we can proceed further you can let me know about these things in the chat i would love to like interaction would be fine here i would love to read yes yeah sir just i want to know how you spend your first 10 minutes and it is having any impact on you right now i know the man who sold his ferrari is not uh, related to creativity i was just saying how you spend your 10 minutes of the day that's a thing i have taken from the man who sold his ferrari just i'm not relating it with the creativity but there is a creativity link that we find out the way he left his job and moving to the himalayas he has the creativity of finding himself he wanted to know who he is that's the i if you consider it it's a creativity in selling like if i having a ferrari or i having a mansion i will never sell it like i am having the world's best thing with me and i am going to sell it for no somewhere he has shown that courage is also a creativity all right shall i share yeah sure so the first 10 minutes of my day i try to spend it through a little bit of meditation okay so i do nothing i simply pray i pray for the little small little things to go good just good health and everything and that is how i start my day and there have been a lot of instances where i didn't get the time to do so and there have been other things to cater to which demanded my attention and i have found out the difference between uh, the 10 minutes of the day and not doing what you do in the initial 10 minutes of your day so i prefer not touching my phone or checking my phone right after i wake up so that is a habit that i have developed and it is helping me somehow yeah this is the thing i want to hear the actually being a teenager or you cannot teen been in 20s like it has happened when you wake up i just pick up my phone and just then then one day i was th- thinking like being a reader i was reading a lot of thing in the din about the med- meditation and somewhere it's also when you are in a field like you are multiply doing the thing somewhere the stress is here so i start uh, i started doing the thing whenever i wake up i just give four or five minutes like whatever god we pray to or somewhat just two or three minutes four or five minutes are very long i will say So I started doing that the day with the positive thoughts, and somewhere I am finding the changes in me. So this is the thing we think the mental health. Yes, it's very, very, very crucial thing. But sometimes it what happen when we have anxiety, we have stress, we have lose the control over our mind, and somewhere the meditation and the thing when you are relaxing. it's something different if one thing if you ever notice in your life if you are sleeping while sleeping you are having any kind of thing like you are using your mobile or listening some kind of terrible news i will say you will be seeing the dreams like that you will not have a sound sleep but if you before sleeping if you are having a meditation or just you just give up your phone or you are away from the 
screen 20 minutes away before sleeping you will find your you have a sound sleep you will not having a disturbed dreams and sometimes it happens you will not view a single dream so this is the difference what we are having when we see the troubled dreams we get anxious in the morning that somewhere is putting a toll on our mental health also so what is our lifestyle is also somewhere keeping a toll on the mental health so if i am coming to the next point that is creativity so the diary of any frank it's a creative book i hope many of you have read that so any of you have read the diary of any frank any one of you okay so it's a thing she was living in the era where the so much of pressure on the women or something she was not facing the good things in her life so she could not put out his uh, sorry put out her emotions out what she did she started writing a novel we all are having that novel in the form the diary of any frank so whatever his emotions were they are went out through a diary through a book so many of the writers if you are seeing this they are sharing their life stories they are if i say it's a work of fiction it's never a work of fiction it's a personal experience spiced up that's why it becomes a fiction we are in the we are not living in i will say we are not that much strong to put our life like become a open book for the thousands of people in front of the thousands of people it becomes horrible to expose ourselves fully so what we do whatever we are writing if i talk about being with the field and being a reader i feel whatever emotions if you are reading any book non fiction is totally what the author has experienced if i talk about fiction it is also the totally what the author has faced but with a little spiced up things so what i feel personal experience what i'm sharing whenever i feel low whenever i feel good i try to write down the things i maintain a diary sometimes it happens it comes out in the form of post sometime in the form of poetry it somewhere relaxed me because it is said a uh, the best friend of an author is pen and paper if i am venting out my feeling to a person maybe he is hearing out or not but that paper and pen is with me at that time and the another thing is some people and the many okay so i said it is necessary to take out emotions or we will be feeling that suppression and we will be correcting that suppression theory a perfectly applied on our i will say generation or in our era so it should be on any form it could be a poetry it could be any writing it could be a painting so creative mind before i come i say some people do reading so many research has shown that that reading reduces the uh, reading reduces the stress so that's why it is said books are the best when they never leave you so i have read many 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 self help books earlier i used to think what are the use of self help books we are motivated by ourselves why we are in need of these kind of things that sandeep maheshwari is coming here and giving a motivational talk why it is a need of the r why it became a need of r because we are so engrossed in technology we are in the rat race like if that person is doing i am have to do much more so this is the mindset made it necessary to talk about the mental health and the creativity so if i say having a four hobby is also necessary as i mentioned because if i am having a hobby i will engross myself in that 
so the hobby is the thing where i am much more giving my 100% i am into any hobby i will be there more than i am the, doing the thing which i don't love why because when you love a thing you are giving your everything you are pouring your, yourself out there for like if i love to do gardening i might i will be totally present there and i will be taking a break from my monotonous routine and this will be making me a less anxious letting me taking a break from the stressful life so paintings writing and paintings can be related like writing i told as i can rent out we it is made, uh, we have seen many many people are coming up with the journal like they are launching their journal for the mental health so that it's a journal you can write down what you have done today how you have improved yourself how much improvement you have doing day by day and the writing if you are writing you are keeping a diary there was a time we all write to use uh, sorry i we used to write a diary where we write down what we have done in a whole day similarly is with the paintings paintings if you have ever seen a painter making a paintings somewhere the emotions are hidden there also it's a, such a form of creativity which we see that they are having a emotions if the painter is a happy he will make a painting so lively and if he is sad or not in a good mood the painting shows that same if i say about this uh, it's like a trend a trending thing that is a stand up comedy if you are listening to those jokes they are telling out of their life that they are faced in their life and they made a joke out of that so somewhere everyone is finding a way to let their emotions out so that's why there are many platforms are making because we humans become so emotionless like we are not even ready to hear another person but when it the suicide happen we were we are on instagram we are on the social media we are everywhere we are here to listen you but in reality if we think how much we there are for someone being mentally like and there was a discussion like uh, there was a discussion going on if i am sharing if you keep sharing the same thing that you are not mentally fine this thing is hurting you this thing is hurting you at one point your friends will also go away from you and will not listen this thing even your family members will also go away like they will be also like the things will be fine one day but in the end before i end the thing i will say there is a need if we are feeling anxious regularly like if you are feeling there is a difference between sadness and being anxious and we know only i guess it's psychologist or if we have read the psychology can tell us the difference and if we feel we need a psychologist or psychiatrist we should not back out we must go and consult them and we must have something in us like there is no one without talent no one is without talent we have to find that hidden talent be it a photography also you have seen how the photographer click the pictures the sadness could be seen there and the positivity can be seen there so whatever the hidden talent in you find out give it a time so coming back with the book i have read recently that is again the monk who sold his ferrari so the research paper i was writing on it and there was like time is the important thing time is everything it's, once it is gone it is gone so manage it like that according to the priority and the work should not be the priority your family you yourself should be the priority and then the work work can be done but when you are not fine your family is not fine there is nothing so give yourself a priority also your mental health also so this i will end thank you so much thank you for listening with this much concentration this means a lot
Thank you, Archer. Try to feel the right. These so are now, the wordings of the first word. True. So now it is an open forum. As we have heard, Archer, I would request all of you, if you have anything to share, if you have any inputs to give, if there anything that you need to ask her, it's over to you all. When uh, about what I have understood about it is mind and body connected. So that the sum of the your entire thing, creative mind and the habits, good habits and all that so am i right the essence of today's or yes. you can also tell me please sir can you repeat once about what you have told and what i have understood because what was there in my mind already so that's what i put mind and body are connected always if you are happy your body also will be healthy. If your body is healthy, you will have a happy mind. So, and to have a happy mind every day, right from the morning till evening, you have to, it's like a journey, steer the mind, navigate the mind by good thoughts, good actions, and pleasant feelings. However, whatever be the situations you may come across, it is, you can do that. You are the boss. So that is how we have to control. Uh, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. With this, I will give the reference of the book, The Power of Subconscious Mind. The, uh, Joseph Murphy, Dr. Joseph Murphy has totally stated that whatever you are feeding the mind, you are seeing that thing. So whatever you will feed it, you will see that in the reality. So if you are feeding it with the positive thoughts you will see your day filled with positivity if you are feeding it with the negative thoughts you will find yes you are having surrounded with the negativity and the negative emotions very correct very correct yes so it's it's a daily decision then in that case <laughs> very true very true sir very true and this is something that we can see uh, very generally, very vividly, we can see that if we are not mentally happy, if there is something that is bothering us, the entire day reflects what we feel and how we feel. I will give you another example. Anche, I would, I would. Yes, sir. Anche, uh, you have very well discussed the thing, psychology, importance of psychology. Mm -hmm. You know, I have read uh, aim of education is all around the range of personality. The mind is the basis of it. The psychology should be the subject of the, uh, our courses from the very beginning till end of the education system. So it's really rightly said by you uh, that uh, education should have at least optional, if not uh, compulsory, it should be optional to take from the very beginning of the sessions. So this is very nicely presented, well done, and you have done it very well. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a question in the chat box. Yeah, I'm reading that. Yeah, we can cope up with that at a some point. If we are like, I have discussed about the Satyug and the Kaliyug. Difference is that in Satyug, the people are going with that too. part of spirituality more. And they are working on their inner self. But if I talk about the Kaliyug, we are working on our outer self more and the inner self less. If we start working on our inner self, some we are not only controlling the stress, we are controlling the everything. John said, I hope I have given you the correct and the reasonable answer. Uh, how NLP helps in mind? management and what is NLP? I am not aware of NLP. Can no you problem. You can check it out. It's neuro linguistic programming. Okay. This is a new term for me even. You can explore it up. This is something that talks a lot about how we think, what we think and how it uh, you know, affects our day-to-day well-being. 
Okay. So, if whatever the thing you have told me about L NLP, I guess yes. If the same thing that the way we are feeding the mind is always helping in our mind management. One thing that we'll have to keep in mind, we we will have to uh, understand is that if we decide that we will have our mental health always good. Uh, this wouldn't be possible all the time. I have so far understood that there are a lot of factors and circumstances which matter when we try to keep our mental health in place. Even if we don't want to get fall sick, we fall sick because of yeah. circumstances. So same way, if we do not want to get into a bad shape of mental health, we still get into it due to a lot of external factors. How and if we overcome is what is the main concern, what is we should talk about, is how do we cope with it and how we move back to our original position again. Yeah, this happens like, we are living like so stressful, so stressful. So if I talk about the personal thing, if I'm having a stress, I get a migraine at that moment only. So what I experienced today, I had a lot of work, so research papers and everything was there. So I was having a lot of tension of my research paper as it was the last day. So and the migraine started, but the next moment, the paper, I got to know the paper was somewhere around my word limit and it's about to finish. I start feeling relaxed and somewhere my heart, headache and migraine was gone. So this is the thing. We are feeding ourselves with the tension, stress, and that is resulting a bad physical health also. And uh, Archa, correct me uh, if I'm wrong. Do you think the type of food we intake also has its role to play in our mental health? Like, I don't uh, think so. Like, eating healthy is all, all, obviously, uh, it is said, body and mind are connected. If we are feeding ourselves with an, uh, not healthy food, if our body is ill somewhere, we are affecting the mind also. If I talk about some foods, like... Uh, if I'm going with some non-vegetarian food, what I have heard that whatever we are eating, if we are eating an animal, we are taking the emotions the animal was feeling at that moment. And that are the negative emotions. And we are eating that, the negativity is going inside us and then again the body and mind is connected. And it is affecting our mind also. What I feel. I asked you this because there are a lot of food which releases some happy hormones in our body. So if a certain food which helps us to develop our serotonin and dopamine and oxytocin in our body, that helps us to feel good again. Yeah, this is the thing. That thing I was listening to a congregation and there was said, it is the sometimes we are sad and a lot of things are available like good music, good food, many good things. And if you be, sometimes it happens, we are feeling angry or we are like just, we are not getting the things and we have our favorite food in, uh, in front of us. And if I eat, I become happy at that moment and the hormones start releasing happy hormones and somewhere it is going to affect the mind also in a very positive way. So in that context, it's, I agree with you. Anchal, Anchal uh, one question more. Yes, sir. Anchal, uh, Shaka Hari log kam gussa hote hain? In current, aaj ke jamane mein to sir, har koi gussa hai. <laughs> we are living <laughs> like itni zada if uh, that is the Kali Yug. Okay. Everyone okay. is angry. So you have come from practical to the spiritual aspect. It's good. Very good. <laughs> Well done, Anchal, well done. So whatever knowledge okay. I have gathered, I am putting yeah. here. <laughs> very nice, very nicely presented. Well Thank done. You. <laughs> Thank you.
And Atul, uh, we are lucky that we have people like Mr. Sushil, uh, Sushil Saxena, Mr. Mohan Rade, Z, A, Z, Jutam Rikar, and yes. Ashish, Devi Datta, and Shailendra Pajapati is present here. Rest, uh, we are here, Triyamika is here, John is here. John was our first speaker in the Gen X platform and he did very well. So we all are present here. We are lucky that we have audience, uh, less in number, but yes, the people who come here are someone who really have feel, felt and experienced the life in their own way. And they carry rich experience of not less than 20, 25 years. So we have, I would, and thankfully, I have Devi Datta here today. Devi Datta, uh, she is a banker. She happens to be a colleague of my senior. She is a banker, however, she ca carries a lot of experience and she is probably um, the best person to tell you how uh, bankers are people who are in difficult jobs like banking, balance between their mental health and physical health and between their work and professional life and the personal life. And uh, yeah. not less, uh, yes, they are sure. so that is the reason why. And like Sush uh, Sushil Sari is here, Mohan Rajasaji is there, Mr. Tamrikar is here. They all have experienced one or the other way of coping with mental health. I mean, there's a, I, I believe there's a continuum and you move in between the you know lower side of the continuum to the higher side of the continuum. You feel low when you're in the lower side of the continuum of the mental health. And once you're upwards, you feel happy and you reach your full potential. So these are the people, the experienced people like the audience that, that are present here. They have seen both the ends. So... We are really grateful that we have an enriched audience like you also. This is something that I wanted to tell you all, and this is something that I am going to do for the next entire week. With the grace of the speaker today, Achal Arora, I would like to pick up a problem that I feel mentally that puts me, brings me back mentally. And then for the entire week, I will try to find out a creative solution to solve that mental health issue that I'm facing. Thank if I much. may, if I may, thank you so much, Atal. If I may, I would be able to, I, I really would like to request all of you to pick up certain problem that you are facing right now in your life think about a creative solution and put it in place i will put in our mail address here our contact number here um Ajal, if you'd like to share your contact number and mail id here with everyone we can get offline connected to each other and we can help each other move up the continuum and feel mentally happy Sure, ma'am. Sure, I'm please. dropping my mail. Yes, here. please do. And I would really request everyone to have a look at our website and what all things Blend Global Learning and Development does. We are also trying to bring a difference to the society by bringing in the learning and development verticals together. It's blendglobal.in and also please do visit our social handles we are present in linkedin and facebook with the name blend global learning and development and social uh, the instagram handle is blend underscore global and please do visit our website and know more about us help us to reach to as many number of people as possible and help them help us to bring a difference in their lives we hold Chalk Capability Development Program, which is a program meant for the students to help them develop their professional skills. We hold it every Saturdays and Sundays. And there are two hour programs. There are the two hour programs are on Saturdays and Sundays. And the two days and five days programs are weekly. Please do visit our advertisements, our website, our social handles to know more about us and stay connected with us. 
Thank you so much, everyone present here. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Sushil sir, Mohan Raj sir, Mr. Tamrakar, Chandrakanta, Triambika, John, Tribhuvna, Shailendra sir, Devi Datta, and Ashish for staying with us and listening to Archal Arora. And obviously, thank you so much, Archal, for such a beautiful presentation, a very pertinent and need of the art topic. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Achan. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Bye -bye. For the thank you so much. Have a very good weekend ahead. Have a very good time ahead. Please do take care of your health, your mental and physical health. Sure. I'm not <laughs> leaving. I'm having a one another. Sure. Bye-bye. Sure. Bye-bye. Please do take bye -bye. care. Bye -bye. We'll come back next week, same time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All the best. All thank the best. you, sir. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you, Salindu, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome. Welcome.